I was wondering how it was going to ring in the new year. Well, everybody, it's January 1st, 2021, and I'm sure there is a lot of you that are happy to put 2020 in the rearview mirror and tell it to kiss you where the sun don't shine. It's been up and down, and, and it's been just crazy, and, well... I know we haven't posted much and do apologize for that, but uh, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. hope you all had a great Christmas, and I do truly hope that you all have a wonderful new year. As for me, 2021 has already delivered a swift kick in the nuts. As we take a look at my good old trusty Ranger here, this morning on my way to work, yes, I went to work today. Um, I had, you know, slept through the ball dropping all of that fun fancy jazz but on my way to work this morning I hit some ice and snow and from the last video me driving on ice and snow it's a bad idea so I was doing about 35 40 mile an hour and lost control of my pickup and used up what little talent I had left and we have this yeah, they crunched in the fender there and bent the rim there from a pole that I hit because I slid sideways and all of that. We come walking around the back. That was already like that. Didn't that just, just disregard that? That was already like that. But then we look at this here. Damn! Now here in Oklahoma in the center dividers, there's a lot of grass. And then there's these cables that run in between them and the cables keep cars from going into oncoming traffic. And that's what this mark is from. And this, I do believe, hit one of the support things that caught that holds those cables up. Just completely obliterated this tail light. And yeah, I sat there for a minute, I called AAA, and obviously they had a high volume of calls because I wasn't the only talentless idiot out there spinning their cars out and causing issues. So, sat on the side of the road until AAA could get me a tow truck, but uh, before that happened, God sent me a good old boy with another pickup truck and four-wheel drive, and he had a tow strap, yanked me right out. Didn't catch his name, and I won't mention what kind of a pickup he had, because it'll just cause an argument in the comment section. But it's kind of irrelevant, because a well-placed horse could have pulled me out, you know? The truck, one of these skinny little tires, little balloon tires, they just got no grip so he just needed to yank me out real quick that's all but uh, good news is is I'm okay my pride is hurt a little bit but I I'm trying to do a silver lining here you know so I'll be able to hammer that out as best as I can before I was an idiot and lost my stuff and I'll get a new set of taillights some nice cool LED looking ones yeah and uh, we'll hammer out the fender as best as we can and then we'll think about possibly doing a respray on the truck and maybe get some different rims and some better all season tires. Cause yeah, these little, <laughs> these little balloon tires are just not cutting it. Just not, not cutting it. Uh, another good thing is, is I managed to keep all of my excrement in my body during that entire experience. Mainly because my butthole was so clenched that if I were to let some stuff out, it would come out like a spaghetti noodle. Which is probably too much information, but yeah, you get the picture. Anyway, once again, it's a short video. Oh, and uh, yeah, the excursion. It's so damn cold out here. I just haven't been able to get the gumption to come out here and freeze my butt off to put this thing back together, even though I got the heads back. But thanks to my awesome and wonderful father, I have a heater. Except for the thermocoupler is not working correctly. So I've got a couple of spares over here. I'll see if I can switch parts over and make this sucker work. So maybe we can start finally getting to cracking into that beast over there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, hope you have a fantastic new year. We'll see you next time. Come on, get it. Drop it. Oh. Oh.